your good evening YouTube. We are at the weekly close, baby. I'm off work and I am just happy that the week's over because man, it's been a long fucking week. Holy shit. Oh, but now I can wind down, do my little review here, put a little bit of work in. And then really wind down the rest of the night. I'll probably finish uh, some more Marvel movies. But we are at week three of the 50K Top Step Combine. Uh, finish on the finish on the week green. Uh, total PL right now is 15.34. Uh, current trade wind percentage is 41.94%. Average wind to average loss is 2.21. Uh, profit factor is 1.6. Uh, my best days percentage of total profit is 29.22%. Slow and consistent. Um, also had a full, uh, awesome back at work after being off last week due to the hurricane. So um, way less trades are taken. It's a really, really good thing for me. So, but we're up. The equity curve is progressing higher and that's all that matters. Um, let's dive a little bit more into the stats here. Uh, my least profitable day this week was Monday. Monday, I had a red day. Um, it was one of those days where I was just trying to get my base hits. None of the base hits were working and I just couldn't finish green on the day. So I did finish uh, red there. Right now, my average trade duration is 15 minutes, two seconds, which isn't bad. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. I know I'm working on trying to hold my trades a little longer here, but since I go for base hits and a fixed RR, um, at the moment, it just doesn't mesh well. So, uh, average winning trade being 316, average losing trade 143. We're solid. We're solid. Uh, but yeah, this is how we're looking. Monday, we had a red day, and then we were able to finish green Tuesday through Thursday. I did not trade today. Uh, I, I was open to trading today, but however, market conditions just weren't in my favor to trade. So, uh, once I realized that... I had no clear, clean setup on any time frame or any of the lower time frames. I just, I simply, after 10.32, I simply just walked away. I, I closed out the charts and continued about my work day. So, yeah, like I said, Monday, we just didn't finish positive on the day. Uh, took four trades. Uh, Tuesday, we took two trades. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we took one trade each. Uh, so let's dive right into... Those trades here, I'm just going to touch up on Tuesday through Thursday's trades. So, we had, one of those was ES, then we had MNQ and MES. Do, do, do. I believe MNQ was the 14th, because that was the first trade of the week, or not the first trade of the week, but the first win of the week. Here we go. And then we did have MES yesterday. Probably, well, I was clicking too fast. I didn't even realize I changed the fucking time zone. Now we had it day Thursday. Yeah, yesterday. My dumb ass. So, touch up on ES real quick. Let's just slide these over. So, we took ES. Actually, let me start from the first trade, the first one, which was MNQ. And it was the Asia session going into Tuesday. So, Tuesday's Asia session, basically. But we took shorts that day. Um, the video is on YouTube. It's in the Age of Session Drills playlist. But I wanted to see shorts in the Age of Session. Typically, how, how I'm approaching the Age of Session for scalps and base hits, um, I'm just looking at whatever the trend was that the PM session hit and looking at where the market closed. And um, and then I'm looking for to see if the Age of Session is going to respect the, the trend that the PM session made and, and continue that trend. So uh, previous PM session... Close bearish. 
we had a buy side raid followed by a bearish displacement on the 15 minute time frame. We had this bearish order block there. So let's go in. So inside of that 15 minute order block, we also had a five minute order block with the three consecutive up candles and a tiny fair value gap right there. That gets respected going into market open and then Asia open. We take out minor buy side here or internal buy side and we retest the bearish order block. Then we displace lower again, three consecutive down candles. That's always gonna be high probability for me. Closing below this previous swing low. So we had these two down close candles as our bearish breaker. We get the retracement to the breaker. We short there targeting the 4 p.m. low, previous day's 4 p.m. low, and then also targeting the previous p.m. session low. So bread and butter setup. Really loved it, took it, walked away after that. Uh, then we have ES, which we took on Wednesday, right? The 16th was Wednesday, yes, because today's Friday. It's not Saturday. I'm so used to doing these videos and my reviews on either Saturday or Sunday. But I was in the mood for it now, so figured I might as well do it. Uh, ES textbook on the 15 minute time frame we had a internal sell side rate on ES where we uh, took out internal sell side on the London low but we failed to take out previous day low whereas going into the opening bell NQ had already taken the previous day low so that was the bullish SMT I was using and then we had a nice bullish displacement on the 15 minute on the 5 minute this is how that looks this is what the entry was based off of Strong bullish displacement here, or bullish rally on the five minute. Two consecutive up candles, but we do close above this previous short term swing high. So that for me was the market structure shift. So we had the fair value gap that formed there. And then we also have the this up close candle as our bullish breaker. And then we do have the, bear, uh, the bullish order block, our bears, our bullish breaker, I'm sorry. And then we have the consecutive down candles as the bullish order block. So all three of my favorite execution arrays are there. Executed on the retracement at 10.15. And then we took profit here once we took out the equal highs up here. And then we retraced back up in there. I forget what my exit was here. Yeah, exit was 54.72. So beautiful, beautiful. Textbook, textbook buy there with, with the opening bell going into the 10 a.m. window. And then to finish it off, we have MES shorts that we took for Thursday. And this was also a little textbook. We had a nice bearish displacement here at the opening bell. And it formed a bearish breaker here with the 815 down close candle as well as a bullish order block with these two consecutive up candles. On the five minute, get this under a decent view here. I don't know why I just didn't go full screen. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, well. So, five minute. We have our buy side right there. The bearish displacement with the opening bell. Two consecutive down candles there. Uh, we went ahead and entered conservatively at the open of the 945 candle. And then took our profits when we took out internal sell side here and traded into... Oh, we actually filled in the entire fair value gap here going into this little tiny volume imbalance. Quick in and out, but beautiful shorts. So, yeah, uh, this week, since I had a nice little break from reality the week before, I work at 9 to 5, and I'm working while the opening bell session is live. So, Gonna be, 
I, I'm expecting less trades. I had my fun for the week I was off, but I got to bring myself back to reality, ground myself again, and just put my head down and work. We're ending week three on a positive note. I'm looking to continue the momentum. I see nothing stopping me at all. Everything is up and up only. So, with that being said, folks, hope you guys had a good trading week. I'll talk to you guys next week. And I am out of here.